Hi folks, hello and welcome back to the Dead Zone series. Here we have part two where I'm going to basically introduce you to how we paint the models. Okay, so there's two factions in the box. The first one are the Dwarfs, which are the Forge Fathers, uh, and that's what we're going to be painting today. Okay, so what I've chosen to do is just do a very basic paint job on these. They're not going to be all painted up to um, Golden Demon uh, levels or whatever. You know, we're just going to paint them with the idea being to just get them on the table. Um, I'm of the opinion that a model that has got a little, at least a lick of paint on it is better than a model that hasn't. Um, so that's what we're doing today, folks. Without further ado, I'm going to take it down to the table and let's get started. Okay, folks. So here we are down at the table. So what we've got is we've got some PVA glue. We've got some black paint, some white paint. These are acrylics, by the way, guys. Uh, water, palette, and then we've got some ink and a couple of pots of paint. Three paint brushes and some flock. Okay, so all of it is going to become apparent as we go through. So this is basically uh, a six part, six um, step setup uh, to get this job done. So what we need to do first is we need to undercoat the model. So what what actually happened is I was supposed to be building these um, on camera. However, uh, those who watched and um, observed the first part when I unboxed the actual um, game uh, would have noticed there were actually no instructions, no building instructions um, for these guys. Okay. Um, so for some reason, normally um, rules books come along and they have like, you know, um, basic painting uh, and building guides, uh, either within the rule book or on separate um, instruction booklets. However, um, either by oversight, by laziness or by sheer design, uh, Mantic chose not to do this. So I had the kit and I, uh, I built it. Now bear in mind, I've been building and painting models, well, building models for over sort of 20 years. Uh, I played most games, all the big ones. Uh, and this really is just, it was just a pain in the backside. So I didn't wanna, uh, I did try filming, to be honest, the building process, but I ended up with just like glue all over me, messing around, trying to find parts that wouldn't fit together properly and everything. Um, you know, like these models, I'm hoping it picks up here. Uh, you know, there's like, sort of gaps like around the sides here and stuff like that the models didn't go together they didn't go together very well uh, and to be honest it was a totally frustrating process so with that in mind i chose to just delete the section of the video i've done and just go straight for the actual painting okay guys so step one of this is just going to be applying some white paint so what we've got is we've just got basic white acrylic paint and we are just going to paint the this onto the model uh, and the reason being we just need to get a something for the paint to stick onto because as you can see with this it's going on but it's not going on great um, now I don't know whether that's a type of plastic that this actually is or what Sometimes you'll put um, like the paint on, you know, the, the, the undercoat on and it'll really sort of sit well, it'll really sort of stick well. This isn't appearing to do so, uh, but you know, let, let, let's go along, let's get it done and let's have a look and see how we're going. Now your paint job, well I, I call it paint job loosely guys to be honest with you, um, because this isn't going to be a, a painting um, tutorial that like a lot of guys actually put out there, a lot of folks have put out there. This is basically just going to be um, what I'd call like a rough job. Uh, and it's not to get the video shot quickly or anything else like that. What it is, is I am not really a painter. I don't like painting. Um, I'm of the opinion that, um, you know, a model with some paint, is better than a model with no paint so you know by that sort of um by that token and by that standard that's like where i'm coming from so what i'm going to do today is just show you some basic techniques and it's just going to be like undercoating which we're doing now sorry about my big fingers here i'm just trying to paint as well as trying to keep this in focus and trying to get the light right as well i really hope it comes out okay um so we're, yeah, anyway, so we're just going to basically undercoat 
then we're going to just put what's called a base coat on which is just going to be like a layer of paint which is going to be gold uh we're going to use an ink um to bring out the detail under the gold so basically we're going to be putting like the gold paint on but uh with it going on thickly it's not really going to show the detail so what we tend to do is a little technique uh, where we use black ink um i will list all the names of these paints uh shade and uh, inks all that sort of stuff down in the description below by the way folks so what we do is we bring the um ink on and that should bring up the details in the model so even though we're not going to be doing like a full you know let's whack like all the paint on this just hoping that focuses for you there um it's just gonna be a case of undercoat base coat gold ink black to bring up the detail and then i'm going to show you another technique called dry brushing which is what we basically put some paint on a brush we wipe most of it off and then we just basically sort of skim over the top the idea being is to bring highlights up um off the model okay guys so for those who painted before um you're probably there going nick you lazy and put your own expletive in but like i say this isn't a full paint job guys this is just getting some models built lick of paint on them and getting ready to put them on the table okay so uh, there we are that is the undercoated model um there uh, what I've done guys, I've actually prepared these as well, so it's almost like a Blue Peter job for those old enough to remember where, you know, here's one we made earlier kind of thing, you know. So, there we go. So that is the model undercoated in white and that concludes step one, okay. So I'm, I'll spin it round and I'm really hoping that the camera is in focus and it shows you this folks, okay. So, doesn't look amazing but the undercoat is on and it'll do its job. Okay, so what I'm just doing now, I'm just going to clean the brush off and then we'll apply the gold paint in, um, onto the model next. So this is the first basic um, painting uh, video I've made. To be honest, um, there's going to be next week's with the other faction and the building, uh, the building the terrain and adding paint onto that. Uh, after that, we're probably not going to see any. Um, it's basically like a request off um, my pal Jimmy Barnes so okay guys so here we have the undercoated um mini just trying to get the focus to pick it up there okay so i'm just going to open the gold paint this is retributor armor from the citadel range citadel are a range of paints by uh, the company games workshop who most of you have probably heard of whether you're gamers or not uh, they are like a popular um, leading brand in miniature games and paints. Uh, some folks prefer the Citadel paints, other folks prefer another brand, um, you know, their own brand, things like um, there's one called Vallejo. Okay, so what we're doing here now, folks, we're just applying the gold paint. And it's a case with this, really, of this stage, is getting the paint on. Um, you know it will sit it will um get onto the model a lot better because we've got the undercoat so it's a case of getting this on now not so much thick but just you know making sure we cover the entire model and then make sure all the white's covered over obviously and get into all the little um bits like here behind the helmet behind the neck that kind of thing you know make sure you basically cover it all off so these are the, the, the models themselves, the, 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 they're not bad. Like I say, they were a pain in the backside to build. Um, you know, the instruction part, as in like not coming with instructions, that, you know, like I said earlier, I'm um, I'm an experienced modeler, uh, so it's, it's not really a big deal to say myself. But anybody out there sort of watching this and thinking, oh, I fancy that game, you know, I'm going to buy it. I love my board games or I want to try like um, miniature skirmish games it would be a potential deal breaker um because you know obviously you, you you've got to it's not just like a board game where we go along and we'll sort of like just pull the minis out of the box and we'll just uh get them out read the rule book get your buddy around and play the game so yeah it, it it's not i wouldn't say this the, the game itself is like an entry level game because the the rule set is like really nice it's friendly it's quick uh, it's going to play well and I'm really looking forward to shooting the um, the gameplay video for you to be honest with you um, 
but yeah so i i, I wouldn't really uh, I, i'd say if you were going to buy this maybe buy one the, the the if you're not like a modeler or if you really don't fancy it sort of buy one that's already been you know made maybe go on like ebay or something and uh pick up like a used version obviously completed in good condition you know just save yourself having to the, the, the faffing rounds like i say i i really i wasn't happy i was I, i'd have been using the um you know the, the beep button on the uh <laughs> on the editor quite a bit to be honest so yeah okay guys so there we have the gold paint on our model okay so you can see it's starting to come together now you know from what was basically just like plastic down to uh you know great plastic down to undercoated down to like a little, uh, a little lick of gold okay so that was stage two of our process again just cleaning the brush off okay so stage three is going to be applying the ink and this is where the well i'm, I'm going to use the term lightly uh, magic happens uh, i say when we ink something it basically just brings out all the detail okay so here we have the uh, an already previously done um gold model okay so there's actually there's 10 models in this faction uh, i built them all and i've done them all in various stages of of preparation for this video okay so all we do with the ink now is we just uh well before we start it's actually citadel again the games workshop citadel shade and this is agras earth shade this is one of the more popular inks out there they do like a range they do like all kinds of colors and everything but this one's basically like a, a brownie kind of ink um which is nice for our job here okay because obviously we're, we're, we're um the base coat is gold which is quite a bright metallic color and the brown is dark so the method in the madness is to basically just pick out all those nice details so again all we do and never worry about the the ink guys just lash this on you know uh, there's no no technique at all to this except basically making sure that it runs down the model uh, it needs to run down the model because obviously it needs to get into all those little recesses and all the little details um which are going to hopefully bring them all out for us nicely so like i say without repeating myself it's just a case of uh bright color for the base coat dark ink to to basically dull it down and to also um just bring out the details so as you can see guys i'm just basically I'm, I'm just throwing this over here as if it's going out of fashion and what will happen is like the ink will just dry it'll, it'll just get into all the little gaps all the little spots it'll bring out like all the details on like um the gun uh the helmet the eyes the face the mask that kind of thing so if i bring this up close this video is actually harder than I thought it was going to be to shoot because I'm, I'm trying to do this and I'm painting it looking through the lens of the, of the camera. Okay, so I'm not sure if you're actually seeing that folks, but what I'm trying to indicate here to you is like the detail like in the head and in the face and stuff. Get, get that to focus there, there we go. So that's obviously um, going to dry in now and don't worry about it looking darker because we are going to lighten it back up, okay so there is the model and it's all it's now been inked okay folks so again clean the brush off and we're not going to need this brush uh, for a little while because i'm going to introduce a new brush to you and a new technique okay so moving on just get into good habits as well guys make sure you put all the lids on all your pots and stuff like that so moving on we go to the stage that's called dry brushing again folks who've done painting modeling hobbying they know what dry brushing is to the guys who don't guys and girls who don't it's basically like i said earlier we get the paint which in this case is going to be citadel storm host silver so we're going to be putting the silver paint over the gold the idea being we get paint on the brush we take as much paint off the brush as we can and then we just basically go over the top of the model and what that's going to do is it's going to basically raise the profile of the model it's going to go along and it's going to bring up like the highlights of the model okay so we've base coated it got the nice um bright color on we dulled it down with um, the ink okay and now we're going to do this technique dry brushing to 
go over the top and to highlight it. Okay, so this is a dry brush. You'll notice it's actually, it's flat. Okay, it's not like a normal paintbrush head. Okay, and it's flat for a reason. So it's like the way we actually apply the paint. So what we do guys, just get a piece of kitchen roll and we just basically, we're getting all the paint off. Okay, we don't want any paint on this at all. I know that's gonna sound silly. You're gonna say, well, how are you supposed to paint something with no paint? But the theory, the method in the madness is we're not actually putting the full thickness of the paint on. We're basically just doing like a, a, a brushing over to pick up the, um, the, the, the lighter pigments of the paint. Okay, so what we do is we get our model and we're just gonna do strokes across the model here, okay? I'm really worried about this being out of focus, guys. I really am, so if it is, I do apologize. Okay, so we're just basically throwing this paint across in that kind of motion. Okay. Again, no great massive uh, secret or technique to this. Just go over the entire model as best you can. And hopefully you're going to be able to see what this is doing. If I can get the figure up close to the camera. Okay. The lighting isn't great today, to be honest with you. Um, the weather outside is overcast. Uh, you can probably hear every so often the wind and stuff. Okay, so just trying to get this to focus in. So hopefully you'll notice now that we have got like an extra layer added up onto the model. So you can see some of like the, some of like the details there on it. Okay. So the dry brush has basically brought out the and uh, raised the profile of the actual model. Just did my best to get this in focus here for you guys. The camera isn't playing ball with me today. Okay. So hopefully um, you're getting a point here. Right, so just going to put the brush there into the water. Obviously it's important to clean your brushes because the paint gets up into the top of the bristles and uh, it can be a nightmare. Okay, so here we have our model, which is now nicely highlight, uh, nicely dry brushed. Okay. So we see all the points just uh, brought up there. And the model is starting to look a lot better. Like I say, you better paint some paint on it than no paint really, you know. Okay guys, so the next stage now is we're going to get a little bit of black paint. Okay. What I tend to do as well, a little tip for you guys, if you look at um, painting and stuff like that, is I buy these um, these like black paints from like the likes of like Home Bargain and stuff, um, they're like about a pound each. Um, you know, you're going to be using them to like basically undercoat stuff and whatever, so there's no point in paying like nearly three quid for, um, you know, a pot of paint in which you're just going to like, you know, um, Th like be thrown on to like basically undercoat and then like you know paint over it. are you with me you know what i mean okay so this stage now folks is we're going to be painting the rim of the base okay so we're, we're coming towards the end now where we're looking at tidying up our model um this will just give them a nice little base and stuff like that and when you see like the final um part which i'm going to do where we actually put some grass some flock onto the model then uh, you'll see the, the, the effect that I was going for, okay? So, again, I really hope that this is coming through okay, guys. Because what tends to happen with these videos is I waffle away and moan on camera about um, focus and um, I hope the camera's picking it up and I hope it's doing this and I hope it's doing that. And then I basically end up put, putting onto the computer to edit it. And lo and behold, there was nothing for me to worry about. And, uh, you know, I basically moaned on camera for the best part of 20 minutes all about it <laughs> so yeah okay so where are we I need to kind of get my hands out the way there I'm trying to keep it like I say as in focus for you as I can and uh, what do I just say about focus I'm waffling again aren't I okay so what we've done there guys is we've just 
basically gone round and just put that little bit of a black trim around it. Okay. So if I can get it to, there you go, that might be better. So you basically see now that the model is nearly complete and it still looks a little bit of a mess on the base, but don't worry about that because what we do is you go along and you, sorry, <laughs> I've got paint all over my hand here. I'm trying to pick up a, a fresh model. So what I've done uh, away and off camera is I have basically just tidied up the base. I've just applied more paint around the feet and stuff like that. Uh, and the reason for that being is when I do the final stage, the flocking, the putting the grass on it, um, we need a black base underneath preferably. So if any of the grass doesn't stick and apply properly, you're basically just seeing black underneath. You're not seeing like metallic silver, uh, golds and stuff like that. Okay guys, so that is what we do there. We just basically black around, just basically fill it all in. Okay, and the final stage for us to do is going to dip it into the grass. Okay, so what you're going to probably notice here as well is like, I don't have all this sort of professional stuff. I'm just a happy-go-lucky kind of guy, uh, you know, and if I find something I can use that's cheaper, I will. Okay, so all I'm doing here now is just putting a little bit of um, PVA glue, guys, not super glue, PVA. I needed to tell you that. Okay, so glue's all different, so just got a little splodge of glue there. And all we're going to do is we're going to go on mini. We are going to just basically paint, for want of a better term, the glue onto the base. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to make sure you go right round with this. Um, it's not a case of, yes, you are just splodging it on. Of course, you're just applying glue to a base. However, you need to be careful because you need to come round the like the sides of like the legs and the feet, like little details on the base. Because what's going to happen is we're basically just going to dip this into some of the flock grass. Same sort of stuff that um, for, for uh, non-models out there. Same sort of stuff that you'd use for uh, model railways, stuff like that. People who like into the, the, the um, you know, uh, model railway horn be kind of you know train set stuff um okay so all we've done there guys is just put that across there put the glue across there and then we get the magic little tub i'm trying to do this on camera's going to be fun okay we're all spilling it everywhere so what we do guys we get our pot of flock we get our model and we just literally dip it in shake it round you got the glue all over it and we just give it a little shake to shake that off there okay and a little tip for you is just get your thumb and just go around the edge of the base because when this dries you want the grass to dry onto the actual side of the base so at the top of the base and not onto the side okay so what we do with that we now put the grass all over it folks okay so what you basically do is you go away and you leave that to dry okay I normally leave it overnight obviously it's only PVA glue and it's going to dry like a lot quicker you know uh, but I basically leave it to dry and then what I'll do is I will go outside and I'll basically just blow the figure uh, blow the model and that blows the excess grass off and uh, there we go folks so that is how i have gone about doing this um i hope it's been useful to you and you've learned something um i say fingers crossed the whole video has worked out properly and stuff uh, and that's the kind of effect that we're looking at okay so what i'll do is i'll now go away and i'll put these on a little turntable and i'll film them for you so you can get a little bit of a better look at them okay you guys Thanks very much for uh, watching if you're still here and uh, my waffling and uh, let's stick them on the turntable. Okay folks, so here we are on the turntable. So as you can see, this is what the models now look like. So we've got the, all the details have come out and the grass is now dry and they're all basically based, okay? There we go. So let me know in the comments below what you think 
about the process. Is it something that you'd try? You'd be happy to try? Um, do you think the paint job I've chosen is effective? And are you looking forward to the rest of the series? Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. Um, and let's start up discussion in the comments below, guys. Okay? So that's all for now. And I'll catch you all in the next part.